Welcome to Homegrown USA, guys, where we demand the truth. We read our Bibles and Home Remedies work. Hope you guys are having an awesome night. We've got a bird flu. Yeah, kind of like the last stuff, but we caught that early, and hopefully this ain't the second round. We're going to talk about that, but we're going to talk about a lot of other things. You guys have asked me to read the Bible, especially when I first started the channel. I wanted to start this thing called Bible Bites. I know you guys remember that. And I thought, you know, how many people are just so caught up in this thing that they're talking about on TV and we're getting pulled away from from this. This is my old Bible. (laughs) But, yeah, we're getting pulled away from this. And I'm going to talk about how every single thing that that box, that programming box does is against the word and that book everything everything you know and it's unbelievable to me how we're easily fall victim of that i'm included so we've got a lot of good stuff to go over and you know who is sick of news (laughs) like really am i the only one you know i could burn through the tabs like i usually do but honestly i'm sick of it if you're sick of the news and you're sick of hearing about it comment below like just yeah i'm with you man Because I am so sick of hearing about it, it's just ridiculous. So, you know what, you guys? Let's get started right now. So, it's like, why are you sick of it, homegrown? I'll tell you why I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm sick of it because it's pulling people away, and it's pulling people away from what we're supposed to be doing. That's one of the reasons I'm sick of it. And the other reason is, you guys, we've watched the Super Bowl, right? I Most people watch the Super Bowl, I guess. And they run advertisements. And most advertisements in the Super Bowl cost millions or billions of dollars. They're very expensive. And when they run these ads, I mean, I don't know. You guys name a few. <laughs> like, seriously, go. We've got the Doritos. We've got Budweiser. We've got... Uh, Taco Bell, and they run these ads and they cost so much money to do what? To program you, we got Budweiser, (laughs) to program you to drink a beer, go to Taco Bell, eat some Doritos, and oh, I forgot about GoDaddy, or you can get a domain, right? And that's the American way. That's that's the way we do things, right? The way we, we see on TV. And not only that, but we get caught up in this so much that they can't sell it on the news. It's no longer sellable, you see? That no matter right now, if you watch Wheel of Fortune, The Days of Our Lives, to name a program, SpongeBob SquarePants to Scooby-Doo, they're selling this on the advertisements. (laughs) Like, really? They gotta sell it. As if the news isn't enough to to make it believable. They gotta put it on commercials. Whether it's J and J, Johnson Johnson, or some whoever it is, they gotta sell it to us. And I'm gonna walk through a little bit of scripture and I'm gonna show you actually how the gate is wide and how we easily could be sucked in. And it's very important. So we're not gonna go over a lot of news articles tonight, because honestly, I'm just tired of it. And I think if we want to know something about the future, we could read this book right here. So let's get to it and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So, I was led down this little hole and I prayed about this, as always, and, well, we got a second wave. Great. Like, there's no good news anyhow. Uh, you know, and what's going to happen is people are going to be strong enough to get through this. And I'm going to explain that, too. So, food goes to waste. 
well, we got food goes to waste. We got this thing going through the country. Well, we told you uh, food going to waste nine months ago. No food. No liquid. Well, that's what it made me put up. No food, no liquid now. And these people were prepping nine months ago. And then, you know, outbreaks now. We've already covered all this. I'm not one that likes to keep covering things and covering things and, and covering things. But I'm showing you that because we've been on top of stuff. For the most part, we've been on top of stuff. So the food goes to waste. And we're not going to have food here. And are you prepared? Are you prepared for this? Amazon, Walmart, Target, Mega Strike. Yep. They're all striking and all kinds of crazy stuff's happening, but we're supposed to expect this, guys. And hopefully this video might like put some peace in your mind on what's going on. Two more years of this, this here. Two more years, they're saying. Two more years. Only two more years. We gotta now wear masks on, you know, the airplanes. It's interesting, right? We live in interesting times, but like I said, it's it's what's crazy about it is we're being pulled away from a foundation and there's this magic wand being waved over our head and there's all this news and it's like you're flooded with it to the point where you forget about this and you start just reporting on news you're not relying on god no more none of that i'm guilty of it we all are that's the interesting part ain't none of us perfect so let's look at that and let's see if we can maybe grow a little closer or maybe make some more sense out of it because i do know we have people who watch the show that aren't believers and i'm cool with that i don't shove it down no one's start. it's just who i am so moving right along here i found this quite interesting let's do this first we'll go through the maps first and check what's going on right now currently we have no outages this is the current this is the current national weather service now obviously it's like heating up to the point of return out west and over here in the east we're freezing our butts off but that's normal right like it's supposed to have heat advisories over here flood watches over here no the weather's acting absolutely insane guys we've got lasers coming down through nevada again and on other maps it's really really bad and we got well storms that go past florida all the way up into canada it's unreal so this is the map i was talking about now this is all dirty electricity in my opinion this is all dirty electricity and this is all not good for us and how many people are sick and have headaches that don't feel good that are dizzy walking into walls i don't know but this is a lot of energy this is weather guys this stuff here is not these dots we've showed you what they were they are this and this is right out of radar operations center next rad and tower radar locations from noah's website these little round dots you can pretty much make sense of it is that and they crank them up like crazy at nighttime and they push weather around i watch it i watch it daily and if it's really bad i tell you guys so please subscribe to the channel it's free it helps me out and make sure you're notified because when something crazy happens i let you guys no. Now, here's the storm I was telling you. I mean, typically it comes out of Texas and comes and runs up the East Coast, but we've got patterns now. It's like a Pac-Man pattern. Remember those? It's like you follow the same pattern and you get, you can beat the board. Our weather similar to that because it goes all the way past Florida, all the way up into Canada. And if that looks normal to you, I did not see weather like that when I was younger, and I've been watching weather a long time. This is the forecast for the future. Now, watch this. This is moves off to the east, and watch. We got the exact same stuff. A low comes in, more rain here. Okay, that moves out. I'm just going to let this play through. I can stop some dates when it gets bad, but you'll see exactly what I mean. So we get another one. There's two of them identical. Here's another one. Comes right through. It's pretty identical. And then we get another one coming up. They must be updating this as we speak. They are they're updating it so i can't show you guys but we get another one another round of tornado producing weather coming right down through mississippi alabama louisiana georgia and right up the east coast it happens we'll on our next show we'll show you that this is total accumulation in just 72 hours so this is now this is right now and this is 72 hours from now total precipitation can we say flood watch 
flood warning because they're everywhere. It's unbelievable. Another thing that I find interesting is we talk about biblical things and the end times is all over all over YouTube. If you want to hear about the end times, I'd personally open a Bible up and read it because you'll learn more than watching somebody when you actually read the Word of God. When you read the Word, it's a different experience than having somebody just, you know, sit back and tell you. So anyhow, this is, yeah, un, unreal. I mean, we've got it here in Tennessee. We've got it in Missouri, Oklahoma. These are these are signs of the times, guys. Utah, California, obviously. You know, and it's it's not getting better. I watch this every day and it's not getting it's not getting any better. So when we have earthquakes, we check for tsunamis. And right now the tsunami warning advisory watch or threat is green. There are no tsunamis. We double check with the earth and all, make sure there's no really high waves going on and it doesn't look like it. So we're good there. Now the Schumann residents, a lot of you guys are very thankful that I report on this and I actually am learning more and more and more about this. So between the Earth's crust from the top of the Earth to the ionosphere or the dome, whatever you call it, it's supposed to be 7.83 hertz. That's the natural frequency, you know, that our minds are used to. It shows the frequency actually going right through your brain. So that's not really, in my opinion, supposed to be played with. Now we have doctors and nurses and all kinds of people with degrees on this website here talking about how bad it is for you when it's up so not only do we have electric flying around in the air with the next rads and all the other stuff but look at this guys i had to jump on here and report on this so we've got power 90 okay just to give you a perspective power 40 is high this is complete whiteout over here on the edge of the chart is what we're looking at it's completely white now According to many comments, not my opinion, this causes headache, it causes anxiety, it causes arthritis, it causes all kinds of inflammatory problems. And here's the key, guys. You cannot be inflamed and at all if you're earthing because all that energy goes out of your feet and goes to ground. The cool thing about it is that movie you just saw is absolutely free if you come over here to my channel and just click play. It's right here, the bare feet. It's a very inspirational movie. Check it out. If you guys are interested in earthing, it doesn't need, I don't need to sell it to you. Talk to somebody who does it and they will gladly tell you how good it does work. I'm just one person, but there's many people out there who have had wonderful results with it. Okay, Air Now. If you go to Google and you type in Air Now and put your zip code right here, it'll tell you the air and the air situation and how dirty the air is. The cool part about that before we get to this bird this bird flu thing. The cool part about the air now is that the mask, the N95 mask that just about everybody has, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people got the N95 mask if you were lucky enough to get them. They are a particulate mask. So if you type in your zip code and go to air now on Google and, and your zip code, you type it in air now zip code. <clears throat> if it's really bad, you can put your N95 mask on and it's supposed to help with that. So just something there I thought I'd throw at you guys. Now here's the bird flu thing. Now you guys remember last time we had a mysterious ship in the west coast in California. It was a mysterious ship and then it was a, what did they call it? They called it a mysterious illness. And this is very much like that. And I'm wondering if this is going to be part of the whole round two. So only time will tell and I will keep you guys, of course, updated on this. But if you come in here and look, the red stuff is the current situation. So this says uh, South Carolina bird flu reported in a commercial turkey flock in South Carolina. And then we got South Carolina fatal bird flu strikes flocks in Jefferson. So that can't be good. And like I said, I had to show you guys this. Sometimes they let really big clues out in these maps and they tell you what's going on. The USDA, so these are recalls and you guys, if you have this need thrown out, it's a, uh, let me see if I have it on the next tab, I do. So basically this warning came out yesterday, April 29th. Let's click on it, I'll show you guys quick. I'm trying to do this show and get it under 15 minutes. Health risk is high. It was put out April 10th. So, yeah, health risk high. If you guys have any of this stuff in your freezers, throw it out. It's uh, 
the tenth, but especially for people who are prepping. If you guys are prepping and this is in your freezer, they have four hundred or forty two thousand five hundred and eighty seven pounds of this raw pork trimmings that were not presented for inspection into the United States. So this is a really good way to get sick. It was just put out that's the crazy part, it was just put out not long ago. Let me look here. Yeah, April twenty ninth. So there you guys have it. It's it's they just put it out not long ago, but if you guys have this stuff, get it in the garbage can, it's no good to eat. And we've heard about the EMPs, right? So I'm not gonna go over that. I will say in my humble opinion, I do think that people don't have a f clue about what's gonna happen in this country. And I'm gonna get into that in a second here. And what I mean by that is good and bad. Did you guys, <clears throat> you can go to demandingthetruth.com. Just go to Demanding the Truth in, in Google, and it'll take you to Homegrown USA. EMP protection of your choice. Okay, now this is of your choice if you win the drawing. There's four ways to enter, and there's 1,600 and almost 50 people entered. So your odds are pretty good, and please subscribe when you're over here. It's demandingthetruth.com. EMP Shield is having a big sale right now. If you buy two, because they got home protection, vehicle, um, generator, this stuff can save your life. RV, watercraft, it's pretty much will protect you from lightning, solar flares, and EMPs. And if you get two of them, you get 100 bucks off with the homegrown code and plus 15% off. So really good deal they got. Typically, they don't have deals as good. If you guys are interested, hop on over here now and get one because time's running out i think that sale ends in a few hours so let's get into this a little bit because i think it's really important only because this was presented to me i don't like reading the bible online i like reading my bible and then i find the stuff and then i have to pull it up online but this is a question and it says master which is the greatest commandment in the law and jesus said unto him thou shalt love thy lord thy god with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind this is the first and great commandment you see and then he said second is like unto it's almost similar to it thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets so he was really big on love love thy neighbor and love me so we read this, and this is in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's all the synoptics. The synoptics are the four similar gospels. It says, A new commandment I give unto you, love one another as I have loved you. Love one another as I loved you. Now imagine that. Imagine if that's even possible, to love someone as much as he loves us. So you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. So how do we know a disciple of the Lord? He says, by this, everyone will know that you're my disciples, if you love one another. So you guys, this is something that I had to go over. So what he's saying is we're his disciples if we can love one another. Now that has a lot behind it. That's like forgiveness, forgiveness not being boastful well let's look up the word love because video games the tv we watch and everything that's put in our heads doesn't look like this and that's why i'm putting it on the show because i think all of us really need to go back to this as a foundation like he said by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another let's see what love is love is patient Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. There is one new special marine warning. It's not easily angered. How many people are angry? Think about that. Just angered. Just this one. Not envy, not any of the other stuff. Not dishonor. Just angry. People are just angry today. Love doesn't keep no record of wrongs. It doesn't. There's no, no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always preserves. It's very interesting the time that we live in. Wide is the gate. 
And then we go right to the end. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Now this kind of sounds like today, right, guys? For men shall be lovers of them themselves. Cove <coughs> excuse me. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers. They break the truce. False accusers. They accuse people of false accusations. Incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. You see, this is going to get worse. People that love Jesus, like myself, people are going to kind of come against you guys. And you guys need to be prepared for this because things are getting bad. They're going to be traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having the form of godliness but denying the power thereof. And it says, from such, turn away. Turn away. So, can we be, can we be more patient, more kind? Can we not envy? Can we not boast? Not be so proud? Not dishonor others? Not be so self-seeking? Not be so easily angered? Stop keeping so many records of wrongs. We all do wrong. Because after all, a new commandment I give to you, love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you're my disciples. Now, when he said, pick up my cross and follow me, he was going to get killed. He said, pick up, my, pick up your cross and follow me. And I don't think some people know that by focusing on all this craziness that we're losing track of this. So, I wanted to bring that first to everybody's attention, but this is the next thing. Social distancing. Now, <laughs> social distancing, I'm going to personally say, is ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? Well, let's just skip all that. It's not biblical at all. Jesus had his apostles. Did he tell them to put masks on? Or did he tell them to lay hands on the sick? I mean, come on. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. I think... Oh, let's take a look. I think it's in every single... Every single book. So, this is... Matthew. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Mark. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to go ye into the world and preach the gospel. You guys, I'm a gospel toting fool. Before I got sick, that's all I did was hand the gospel out. I would shut lawnmowers off and say, do you have your ticket to heaven? I would hand them out everywhere. But guess what? I think the most evil thing, one of the most evil things it has to be, one of the most evil things done that the devil has done to this world is stopped the gospel. Out the other day, I had a whole handful of tracks. Hey, people run from you. So what's really going on in the world? And what are we demanded to do? We're told to hand the word of God out in all these books. I'm not done yet. Check this out. So where are we at here? And said unto them, that This is written that it behoved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. Now, I just walked you guys through Matthew, Luke. Let's just see here. Matthew, Mark, Luke. And I'm positive John has it in. John's over here. So, you know, it's it's a crazy, crazy, crazy world we're living in. And, you know, Jesus drove out. I think one of the biggest things he did that most people don't don't realize is he casted out demons. How many people got demons in them? Remember Mary Magdalene? She had seven. Seven. 
He cast them out. She followed him, followed him everywhere. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful story if you understand that. But today, we're put in front of all this propaganda, and oh my gosh, you got to check it to the point where it's on commercials. So, you can't hand the gospel out, which I absolutely love doing. It's the most wonderful thing in the world to see someone just read it and go, "Oh wow." I could tell stories all night about handing the gospel out. I had three left. Lord, please give me three people, three kids. <laughs> it, it happens. It's just the way the Spirit works. And the really cool thing is, guys, is instead of gospel tracts, since I can't hand gospel tracts out now, I think three videos ago I said, you know what? I can't hand the gospel tracts out. I don't know what to do. And I prayed about it. And when I prayed about it, I got an answer. And I said, guess what? There's a lot of children, and there's a lot of people that don't even have the Word of God in their houses. And maybe if I could get them on this book, they would stop worrying about the news and the coronaviruses. Because I have a choice to either flip through news slides or do this. I thought we should probably do this. If you guys want a Bible, new, we got the King James Version here. And we got the New International Version. Now, some people have written me and told me about the New International Version. Yes, I know. It's missing verses. I know all that stuff. There are words, however, that if you have both books, you can cross-reference and find out that. But I'm very well aware of the NIV. But some people in my family used it and still do use it, this book here. And I know they're so close to God, it's not even funny. So you know what? It's... It's about that, but it's not. Not for new believers. And I recommend you guys to start with the book of John. I absolutely love that book. So, you guys need a Bible in your house and your children need Bibles? We're putting them in your houses. You guys want to help me out with that? There's a PayPal link in my description box. Anybody that wants to help me out, please help me out. I cannot. You guys, I cannot put three, four Bibles in a home. I have requests. I can show you guys. I have requests. And I just, I, I can't do it. I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing the best I can with what you guys, with what you guys do send me. So just know that, that I am. Every, every single cent that you guys send me goes towards that. So every yellow star on this side is a Bible. <laughs> These are all Bible requests. So yeah, I got an email box filled with Bible requests. And these are people that actually, a lot of these people, Bible uh, we are a family. KJV, please send a Bible to me. Um, I've never had a Bible before. Looking forward to reading it. Children, it's all here, guys. So again, if you guys want to help me get Bibles in homes in America, there's people putting Bibles in homes all over the world. There's mission missionaries. There's people traveling. I'm sitting here telling you <laughs> that you can help me get the Word of God in people's homes. And if that's not cool, I don't know what is. Like, how does it get better than that? So thank you guys all. And thank you for my Patreons. I got three. I officially didn't do it. The, you know, the whole celebration, I've been on YouTube for one year. And thank you, everybody, that helped me out. Uh, there's been a lot of people. You don't get 10,000 people on YouTube without help. So I would have to thank Adam and Dex, Marfugal TV, just everybody. Everybody that's helped me along the way, I appreciate it. And I'm very blessed and very thankful. And if anybody else needs help, shoot me an email. I will gladly help you. On that note, thank you guys for being my Patreons. I should have I should have <laughs> I should have said your names, but I don't know if that's the way. I'm still learning how to talk to you guys on this app and message you. So I've got three. So I don't have to Fired up, Polka and Deborah. Thank you guys so much for for helping. And that's all for Bibles. That goes towards towards buying Bibles because I always have more Bible requests than probably enough to get them. But you know what? The Lord provides. I don't worry about that at night. I don't lose sleep over it. I close my eyes and go, everything will be okay, and it will. Prayer requests. Welcome in the comments. You guys need prayer, please. Prayer requests are. Put them down there. Everybody's going through hard times. And you guys, let's make it through this. It says in the Bible to run the race, you know, to end the race, to run the race. Things aren't going to get easier. They're going to get harder. We're going to be here for a little bit. And things are going to get tough. We can't quit. We can't give.
give up. We're going to be persecuted. We're going to have to go through some crazy stuff. But we got to keep our focus not so much on new slides and all the craziness. Because he gives you peace beyond all understanding. Prayer requests, welcome in the comment section below. I'll pray for you guys in the comments. Put your prayers in the comments. Demandingthetruth.com. Please go over there. Check out the website. Get your free EMP shield. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Everything's below in the description box. The prayer for you is below. Don't forget about that. And if not one person today told you they love you, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys sooner than later.